Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson alongside. David Aldridge is with us from the floor tonight. So the New York starting five, they've got OG Ananobi. Hartenstein is out there with Hart. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's DiVincenzo in at the shooting guard position. And for Houston, the guard spots are Van Vliet and Green. At the forward spots, it's Brooks and Smith. And it's Shangoon in at the five spot. And Greg on paper, this looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south in a hurry. Now here's Van Vliet. Shengun trying to free himself up. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Shengun against Brunson. Jaylen and he Brunson. banks in the layup. Making the defense look hopeless. Brunson so clever with his ball handling. Brooks outside. Passes it to Shengun. A jump hook, and that one goes long. Now the Knicks with it. Here's Ananobi, and Ananobi slams it in. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. So the Houston Rockets were once a powerhouse team in the West, especially during the 2010. Yeah, they even gave the KD and Steph Curry Warriors a run for their money. Look, the James Harden era in Houston was special, and now they're trying to get back into contention. Now, here is Smith. OG Ananobi unable to get his last shot to go. Shangun finds Green. Jacks up a three. Kept alive. Nice tip in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a talent. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Ananobi. Over Brooks. Ananobi against Brooks. Ananobi, no good. Here's Green. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Just enough resistance to force the miss. Barely. That's one he'll generally make. Fast to Hart. It's good. He makes Just his first ball. shot of the game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You'll gladly take those. Now, here is Smith. The pass to Brooks. Just four to shoot. Launches from deep. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. We don't feel like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. No good on the free throw. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? But when the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. The Rockets making a switch here. Tate's checked in. No good on the second free throw. 
And the Rockets hiring of Coach Udoka brought a lot of optimism, it seems, to the fan base. Yeah, Houston has had a rough go in recent years. And Yudoka took the Celtics to the NBA Finals in his long season as head coach. They're not expecting that kind of success right away, but they're hopeful he can turn things in the right direction. Here's Grimes following the score by Houston. Van Vliet looking around. Can't tie it up as that one misses. For New York, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Passes to Brunson. Now here's DiVincenzo. Hasn't made one yet. Richard, doesn't Dante DiVincenzo have infectious energy? The minute he hits the floor, he is playing his entire heart out. It's a jolt of energy for the team, and the fans feel it also. This is his first free throw of the game. Taking two shots. down the first one. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Green, he's checked in for Shengu. Tari Eason comes in for Smith. Aaron Holiday is checked in for Green. And it's Thompson in for Fred Van Vliet. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Houston. Trailing by four. Pass to Tate. Two minutes for me. In the that one's no good. That two makes minutes. him one for two. And here are the Knicks. And stolen by Eason. Thompson up top. Pass to Green. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Another miss by Houston. The Knicks leading by four. Inside. And stolen by Eason. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Here's Green. It's hauled in by Achua. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. Here's Grimes, guarded by Holiday. Tipped away. That's a miss you can live with. He did what he could to get something close to the basket. To the paint. Here's Tate. And Tate throws it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. You'll take it. The Great ground. positioning on the putback. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive class can tell the story sometimes, can't they? And Tate gets it to go. Knicks have gone 50% from the field to this point, 4 of 8. 29 seconds left here in the opening quarter. DiVincenzo against Tate. DiVincenzo passes to Achua. Houston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Thompson. And he hits it to tie the game up. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. To the inside. Here's Sims. No good with the layup. It's a tie game here in Houston. And the second quarter about to get started. He'll be back in just a moment. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Yeah, they're putting pressure on all the ball handlers, getting into the passing lanes and showing great anticipation. The 
the wings, Green and Brooks. The pairing up front, Smith and Shengun. And it's Van Vliet in at the point. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. And Brunson recognizes how to execute inside. The D must be more physical with him. Brooks against Tenenobi. Brooks kicks to Van Vliet. Just five on the clock. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. The Knicks with the lead. Now Brunson. Green with the rebound. And he's very confident from that range. But you can't make him more. What an entrance to the lead. Jalen Green has had. Jaylen, so Brunson. much success early on in his career. Brunson. And it was expected. Brunson. He's a scoring machine. Anything he's asked to do on the floor, he can get it done. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for New York. They've made a point to take what's given to them in the mid-range. The jumpers are falling for them so far. And the other thing I've been impressed with, guys, is their assertiveness at attacking the paint, trying to hunt for those high-percentage looks. That free throw, no good. And last season, Greg, the Rockets tied for the league's second-worst record. They expect a different outcome this go-around. Yeah, their veteran additions, headlined by Fred Van Vliet, key to turning the tide, but also continued progression by their youngsters. Good on the second free throw. Richard, how about this? A lot of guys you played with are still in the league today. Does that affect your analysis of their play? Oh, 100%. Nothing about me is impartial. If I don't like somebody, I'll say it to them, and I'll say it on TV. No, I'm just kidding, Kev. All kidding aside, I respect all of these guys, and I try and be as fair as possible. Now here's Brunson. Clock is at three. Sinks the 15-footer. Brunson. Brunson's got six points. And you can tell Brunson has been well coached. He knows just when to call for that pick and roll. Green finds Van Vliet. Back to Green. And good that time. A lot to like about Green's game. Best part, he is a shot maker. Here's Brunson. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Van Vliet outside. Back to Smith. Right side green. Shoots the three. Shot clock reset for the Rockets. He'll be around the rim. Defense has always got to know his whereabouts. For New York, they've gone three or four from the floor here in the second quarter. And Jalen Brunson again. He's got ten. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And it goes out of bounds. That one off hard. Here's the ball. It's trailed by three. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. New York City remains a basketball mecca. NYC legend and former Nick Mark Jackson always talks up the basketball environment. He says, coming up in New York, it's all about the grit, the grind, the edge, the competitiveness, the swag, the confidence, the struggle, and the embracing of the bright lights. Kevin. Well, it's all there, and it is the biggest stage for sure. David, thanks. Okay. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And when you look at Dylan Brooks, he's someone that doesn't mind playing the villain. Yeah, he definitely seems to embrace this villain role, Greg. And look. 
a guy like that that keeps getting under your skin, that can be a benefit for your team. And so he hits both. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Here's McBride, still without a basket. Van Vliet against Brunson. Good, Genius. nice job Brunson. down low. And the Knicks lead by three. Playing bigger than he looks. Brunson has a lot of heart. And Houston, Houston calls their first time out of the game. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. for Fred Van Vliet. Here's Shangun. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. Next ball. And the Rockets Next making a change here. Tate's checked in. Here's Grimes. To the middle. Here's Hart. That shot off. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. That was just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Brunson. 12 points for him. But that's good. You know, great feed there by Jalen Brunson, a terrific facilitator. Brooks again, Tenenobi. Thompson, high post, outside, green. Two minutes remaining in the first half. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Jericho Simmons. The first ever pick out of the G League Ignite. Jalen Green created his own pathway to the NBA. Selected second overall in 2021. Jalen Green. First one falls for the Rockets. Green is checked in for Smith. And Tori Eason subbed in for Dylan Brooks. The Knicks also changing it up. Achua, he's checked in for Josh Hart. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Ananobi. And so he's able to get one of two. The Knicks have gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. A minute 50 left here in the second. Grimes passes to Achua. Tate against DiVincenzo. Here's Sims. Good D by Johnson. Rockets trail. Over in the corner, Green. On the wing, Green. 
shoots over DiVincenzo. And Jeff Green, the bucket on the assist by Green. Green's got his first points in this one. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. It's good again in the next one. Seven for eight shooting night so far. And man, can Brunson get going in a hurry? He's got his fingerprints all over this one. Green dishes to Green. And Green slams it in. He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his bounce, well, that kind of levels the playing field. Takes the 13-footer. The Rockets pull it in. Thompson passes to Green. Back to Thompson. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Brunson against Thompson. Here's Sims. Great tee that time from Green. And there's the pass to Green. Lobbed up there for Thompson. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. He lobs it up. And you can see him give a little Sims. nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Coach, your team has found success when they've gotten the ball into the paint. Is that the goal to do more of that in the second half? Yeah, we want to play inside out, force them to collapse, and then we got to share the ball. We have to make quick decisions. When we move the ball quickly, we'll get good shots. But if we hold on to it, they're not going to be high percentage shots. The ball finds energy, right? Thanks, Coach. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jeff Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. Scoring-wise, they broke even in the second, so little ground was lost there. What do you think, Shaq, about the first half we saw from the Rockets? This kind of defense won't cut it. You have to get yourself in position to get shots. This is making the right reads and putting forth the effort. They've done neither, and their opponent is taking advantage. And over to Kenny. Your thoughts on the Knicks' first half? Playing on a road is having no effect on the season. Between the planes, the hotels, the buses, it's a grind. It can zap your energy level. But right now, they look like a fresher team. And we'll see if they hit the wall in the second half. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You know, Jalen Brunson has been exceptional here, guys. Wow! And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. On the court for the Knicks. Hart is out there with OG Ananobi. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Hartenstein in at the center, filling out the middle. That one drops for him. Hartenstein's got the first bucket of the third here for New York. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. And it's Isaiah Hartenstein with the foul. First team foul. That is his first foul of the game. It's Brooks on the wing. Driving inside. The shot misses. 
The Knicks with the lead. Here's Hart, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Green can't connect from 13 feet out. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. Van Vliet against Brunson. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. And it's a six-point Knicks lead. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Now here's Van Vliet. Six to shoot. Here's Green. The Rockets again can't hit. New York leading by six. Ananobi kicks to Hart. And a miss there on the triple. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, that's a good defender making a play, and he does it without fouling. And so it's Hart who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. Well, it wasn't an ideal rookie season for Jabari Smith, but Richard, he's got the physical tools we all think to be great. It's tough to adjust to the NBA, especially as a teenager. But at six foot eleven and that type of lateral quickness, Smith could be a lockdown defender. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Aaron Holiday is checked in for Houston. Substitution on the And the Knicks making a change here as well. McBride's checked in. Rockets trail by six. To end the drought. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Nice contest. A high level of energy. That's how you play defense. Over Brooks. Here's Hart. The Rockets pull it in. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. Now, here's Hart. Following the miss by Fred Van Vliet. First personal foul. For New York, they have made two and missed two at the line tonight. And their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. Shooting two. We throw good. Hart. He's off on the second. Rockets trailed by seven. Holiday left side. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Holiday's got his first bucket in this one. Oh, how about the vision from Smith? You have to know not just where, but when to deliver the ball. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Thompson twins, Ahmed and Asar, became the first set of twins to become first-round draft picks this summer. Ahmed said making the NBA has been a whole dream since the third grade. Asar added, I always have someone there to push me. 100 with me. You're never too high or too low. You're always just there for each other. You want one another to succeed. Kevin? Oh, man, that's tremendous. David, thanks. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Tari Eason comes in for Shangun. And it's Jay Sean Tate in for Dylan Brooks. And then for New York. Sims is checked in. And it's Achua in for Hart. Now here's Van Vliet. Sims with the rebound. Here's Grimes. Tate covering. Passes it to DiVincenzo to the right side. 
here's Grimes. Hands the 12 footer. Grimes. Grimes has got the lead up to seven now for New York. And for Houston, they're shooting under 40%, all in all, for the game. Two minutes remaining in the third. Holiday against DiVincenzo. Releases. The shot by Holiday, no good. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. And you couldn't get a better shot off? Like, come on, you gotta make the extra pass. Like, being a teammate will go so far in this league. Here's McBride. Five to shoot. For the three. The rebound by Holiday. Rockets trailed by seven. Down low. Here's Eason. Back to Holiday. Here's Eason. Covered by Achua. There's the drive. Shot by Eason. No good. New York's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. They get it again. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Shabari Smith picks one up. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for New York. You've got to be impressed with how assertive they are on offense, continuing to cut hard to the rim time and time again. And another place they're finding success is in transition. They've been working hard to get ahead of the defense and find those easy ones. Jeff Green, he's checked in for Houston. Thompson comes in for Fred Van Vliet. Both shots good from the strike. 103 left to play here in the third. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Thompson misses. The Knicks leading by nine. Here's McBride. Still scoreless. New York moving the ball around. Pass to grind. Here's Sims. Over Thompson. A shot by Sims. No good. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers. But maybe just a little bit more resistance. New York shooting 31% here in the third. Offensively, they are looking bleak. Here's McBride. to Achua. Over Eason. They get a hand on it. And stolen by Eason. And we've watched three so far in this one. New York ahead. They're up by nine. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. He does do a great job steering the ship for them out there and keeping the offense clicking. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Thompson and Green are the guard pair. Brooks is out there with Jay Sean Tate. And it's Shangun in at center. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. It's rebounded by Houston. Thompson with it. Now the pass to Shengu. And he can't bank that one in. 
Here's Ananobi. Goes back up. And he lays it up and in. Ananobi's got the lead up to nine now for the Knicks. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. Shangoon finds Tate. Thompson with it. Inside. Shangoon inside. That shot misses. The Knicks leading by nine. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Here's Grimes, guarded by Green. Shot by Grimes, no good. A nice shot by Hartenstein. And there he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. Always giving max effort on the glass, taking everything they'll give him. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. Smith comes in for Tate, and it's Fred Van Vliet in for Thompson. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Well, during the break, I listened in on Ime Udoka's huddle. He said they play well in certain areas, but the lack of detail to the defensive boards has allowed their opponent too many second-chance opportunities. And that, he said, is the difference in this game. You have to get busy on the glass, Kevin. Thank you, David. Van Fleet. We throw good Van Fleet. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Passes it to Brunson. Out to the right wing. Here's Grimes. Guarded by Green. Shot by Grimes. No good. Van Fleet attacking. Brunson with some nice tee. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect Brunson. position to alter that shot. Two. Man, that's terrific Quentin balance Brunson. from Brunson. He does not skip leg day. To the paint, here's Shengun. And it's good, assisting on the play was Brooks. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Pass to Hartenstein. Brunson scanning the floor. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. That shot is off. Here's Brooks. Softly drops in the photo. Oh, nice play from Brooks down in the paint. Not afraid to get physical on the inside. Grimes passes to Hartenstein. Here's Grimes. Headed by Green to the inside. Hartenstein. again. The Rockets pull it in. 
Shingun got six rebounds in the game. Van Vliet gets to Smith. That three off the mark. The Knicks leading by six. Here's Hart. He can't get that one to fall. Nice D from Brooks. And here is Van Vliet. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside Green. Back to Van Vliet. Over Brunson. Van Vliet can't get it to go. And so Ananobi will bring it up for the New York Knicks. They've led by as many as 11 points. To the middle. That's a floater go. That ball's nice feed that time from Brunson. Jalen Brunson. Brunson's got three assists now in this one. Pass to Smith. Houston moving it around. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. Offensive rebound. Shangoon kicks to Brooks. Second shot opportunity, and it's blocked. They get it back. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Now here's Brunson. 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. The pass to on an open. Shot clock at five. And the shot goes in. Oh, time out, time out. And now it's a 10-point Knicks lead. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and see it again. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Timeout called the Rockets. They trail by 10. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Player of the game, Jalen Brunson. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. 43 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's New York. 10-point lead. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ananobi. Those are the turnovers that have coaches pulling their hair out. Why do you think I'm bald? 34 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Thompson. Knicks with the rebound. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Next and foul. looks like the illegal Jericho pick was set. Sims. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Thompson for the triple. DiVincenzo with the rebound. Here's McBride. <laughs> 
So no problem for New York as they get the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their dream up at the finish. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. See you later.